What's good, Commanders fans? This will probably be a very quick video. I, I will be doing my preview video uh, later. And um, I didn't do a Wizards recap from last night, but I will do a Wizards recap. Washington Wizards recap uh, the next game that we play. I, I got to look at who we play. I think we play on Saturday. But uh, let's get to Jaden Daniels, what we came here for, what we came to talk about. So Dan Quinn had his pressure, and then Jaden Daniels had his presser after. I didn't I didn't know that Jaden Daniels was going to speak today, but he talked for about two minutes. And he was all smiles, man. He looked good. Uh, that doesn't mean he's going to play or not, whether he's smiling or not. But uh, so Dan Quinn is playing checkers, gamesmanship. And somebody asked him in, in the pressure today, like, you know, do you think it's a competitive advantage to not have Jaden out there throwing while the media is out there? And, of course, Dan Quinn said no. But they clearly didn't want people taking pictures and videos of Jaden's throwing motion or how he looked and was he grimacing through pain or anything like that. Uh, so they definitely did that on purpose. And it's a gamesmanship. It's a, it's a game advantage against the Bears. You you want them to have uh, up until the game starts at 425. Maybe they announce the decision at 3 or 4 o'clock. They'll probably announce it around like 3 or something like that. They want the Bears on their toes. But the Bears, anyway, they're going to game plan for either quarterback but it does make them difficult. Like, hey, we got a game plan game plan for Marcus Mariota and Jaden Daniels for either quarterback. So it makes sense that Dan Quinn did that. Uh, but I'm going to look at some of the quotes from Dan Quinn and what he said today. Uh, the Ian Rappaport, who's been pretty negative on whether Jaden Daniels is going to play or not, he's he said earlier this week that it's in doubt. But, you know, Ian's not there. You know, he's not Adam Peters. He's not Dan Quinn. He's not Jaden Daniels. So he's not in the building to say whether or not. Jane Daniels is going to play, but Ian Rapport tweeted out, Jane Daniels is not present at practice during the period of viewing open to reporters, which is not a good sign for his availability this week. Uh, and then also Dan Quinn said that he will be listed, Jane Daniels will be listed as limited on today's injury report. However, the staff pushed him to help gauge his physical status. Uh, he said that they did push it hard today and that Jane did a good job. So, of course, he didn't go too much into, into detail, but Jane did do a good job. He was in the bubble and then he did come out to practice after the media, you know, the media has to go away for the for the uh, part of practice where they go through the plays and whatnot. Uh, Dan Quinn said that Daniels participated in team drills after working in the bubble. He went inside to work on some core strength and conditioning, then joined the team outside. Uh, so that is that is good news. That's good news that he was out there because if he was a DMP, like say he didn't practice again, then of course 99.9% .9 he would not be playing. You know, there have been instances where players – did not participate in practice the whole week and then play. But I think in this case, if he did not participate at all today, he he probably would not play at all. But the fact that he went out there and played and participated uh, is, is good news. And that he was all smiles and the pressure, I think that's really good news. I think that's trending towards good news. It's good news. To me, I think it's still a coin flip. I still think it's 50-50. But I think it's trending in the right direction for Sunday. Like I said, even if he doesn't play, I think he'll be ready for the Giants game uh, next week. And we should definitely win that game for sure. We should. We. I mean, if Jaden plays, I, I feel like we're the better team with Jaden playing, and we should win on Sunday. Uh, and then also, uh, Dan Quinn said, so Jaden Daniels was able to practice today, and the team will assess how he responds to the work he put in today over the next 48 hours before making the best decision for the team. That's what Dan Quinn said his presser as well. Um, he's also said, we stayed true to the process for Jaden, and then he we really wanted to push him today. We'll see how he responds to that. Um... He said, yeah, we will assess how he feels over the next 48 hours, but we really pushed it today. Uh, and then Jaden talking about, he said, uh, J uh, I think Nikki Javala asked him or John Cobb, well, what the injury actually is. Of course, he didn't go into specific specific, specific detail. He didn't, say, well, he didn't say it was like a um, a bruise or uh, damaged cartilage. Like, of course, he's not going to say all of that, whatever the doctor told him what it is. He said, quote, it's something to my rib. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's something to the area right there. Of course, if it was just him and Adam Peters and Dan Quinn in a room alone, he probably probably they they know what the injury is. Uh, and then somebody asked him, uh, Daniels, on if he will play on Sunday. And then Jaden Daniels said, "quote It's not my decision." So he answered every question really well. They asked him about the whole Caleb Williams versus him, one versus number two, and he said, "That's for you guys to debate about." He's not getting into that. So that was a good uh, answer there as well. Um, and then he said, "This he's going to treat this game like any other game." Kind of like the similar questions that they asked him about Lamar Jackson. Are you going to treat this game any differently, of course? Or do you look at this game any differently? He said he does not. He treats every game the same way. Uh, what else stood out? Uh, Brandon Coleman did not participate with the concussion. Uh, Cleveland Farrell was limited today. So it looks like Cleveland Farrell may play. So it looks like he's trending in the right direction. I don't think anybody asked about Dorrance Armstrong. So we'll see about that.
Uh, but I mean, like I said, this is this is this positive news. And then if so, somebody asked him about would they elevate Sam Hartman? Of course, he's not going to go out there and say we're going to elevate Sam Hartman because if he says yes, then of course that means Jane Daniels is trending towards not playing. So Dan Quinn answered everything really well. Uh, and they're doing their gamesmanship. They're doing their chess chess match, chestnut checkers kind of thing, and not throwing them out there right now in practice. So you know people can speculate and analyze how he moves and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, Gene also says, I can't pinpoint one thing with the injury. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep myself in the training room uh, and, and get ready for the game. So um, good news. But like I said, I, I, I'm not basing everything on this one game. So if he doesn't play, like I said, I'm not I'm not going crazy over or upset or anything like that. I think we'll be fine either way. And I think Marcus is capable to keep us in the ball game and even win the game. I think Marcus did a really good job. I know it's the Panthers. I get it. Everybody's saying the same thing. It was the Panthers who were awful. But I, I think he'll do a good job on Sunday if he plays. But uh, like I said before, I mean, too, like Jaden on the sideline during the game, he was cheering. He did the touchdown. He was dabbing players up, hugged Bryce Young. I heard he was dancing with Ben Sennett after the touchdown that Ben Sennett had his first touchdown. And ben Sennett's first catch of his career as well. He was all smiles during the game, too, and, and having a good time and, and kicking with the guys on the sideline and whatnot. So we will see, guys. We will see. We will see. So, um, but it would be great. I know CBS definitely wants to see him play at 425. I know they want to see him play. And a, that's basically the main reason why they flex this game to 425 on CBS is for Jaden Daniels to play against Caleb Williams. But uh, like, I, like I keep saying again, I think this is this is positive, positive news. But once again, we'll see. And then he was he was he I think Dan was saying that he was in the bubble and did some walkthroughs before, like on Thursday. And then Jaden does the virtual, he does the VR a lot too. So he's probably doing that too, to, to help him prepare and get ready for the game. And, uh, you know, help him prepare for uh, the Bears defense and whatnot out there too. So, but um, all right, you guys, you guys let me know what you guys think. Brandon Coleman pro probably will not play though. So that's the unfortunate news, but Cornelius Lucas is going to hold it now. And um, I think that's about it for the update guys. So we've been, we've been, you know, seeing what's going on with Jaden Daniels every every day of the week has been Jaden Daniels' watch, and I don't. I think they're gonna decide on Sunday and not tomorrow. They may come out with news tomorrow at four because they they kind of they didn't announce B Rob until really like Sunday morning, if I'm not mistaken. But alright, you guys, as always, health commanders, peace.